In this video, we're going to be looking at transformers. Near the center of the screen is a transformer. On the left is a gray coil made out of 800 loops of copper wire. That coil is connected to the function generator on the left. The generator is set to output a sine wave at 260 hertz. Channel 1 of the oscilloscope is connected to measure the voltage across the primary coil. This will be displayed by the yellow curve on the oscilloscope screen. Channel 2 is connected across the secondary coil. The voltage measured across the secondary coil with time is displayed by the pink curve or signal on the oscilloscope. The current I coming from the function generator is changing direction 260 times every second. As the current changes direction, the magnetic field around each of the loops of wire and the primary coil to also change direction. That changing magnetic field in turn induces an EMF or voltage in the secondary coil. That voltage is measured in channel two of the oscilloscope. Note that the secondary coil is not physically attached to the primary coil in any way other than through the iron core. But you can also just remove the iron core completely, set the coil, the secondary coil, next to the primary coil, and you'd still be able to measure a voltage like we are now. So the secondary coil has been replaced with another coil that is made out of 800 loops of copper wire. The voltage output from the function generator is increased, and you can see how the amplitudes of each of the voltages that are being measured across the primary and secondary coils are changing. Again, we swap out the secondary coil with another one. In this case, the red coil on the right is made out of 1600 loops of copper wire. Once again, the voltage output coming from the function generator is increased, and that's changing the voltage across the primary coil. As we change the voltage across the primary coil, we see that the voltage across the secondary coil is also changing. And again, the voltage across the secondary coil is shown in pink on the oscilloscope. So overall, we looked at how a transformer works. It's basically used in a circuit that's connected to an AC power source to either increase or decrease the voltage of the AC power source. So in the lab, you're going to analyze some of the screenshots taken of the oscilloscope display. And from that analysis, measure the voltages across the primary and secondary coils and determine how they're related. 